thought you wanted to do a two versus uh, a redeemer. Yeah, yeah. I want to do, do that. another one v one, but let's just do our let's just do a. I I can see right now two infernos will clap us unless you have really good gunners. <laughs> no, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, tactical choices. I'm talking about tactical choices where you don't yeah. focus target. You make sure you shoot both targets at all time. Yeah. 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 Raw, raw skill obviously isn't much of a matter. Uh, um, <clears throat> Alright. Are you at OM1 again? Yeah, he's in the uh, battle with someone. Me and Bray are having a little duel here. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Sword. Woo! Good fight. Welcome back, everybody. So today, I kind of just want to take today to... I guess uh, take a break from all the uh, Redeemer videos that we've been coming out with just to kind of, uh, you know, change up the testing a little bit. And uh, today we're kind of looking at what it looks like to fight the Inferno versus the Inferno. Um, not a whole lot going on with this fight. Um, it's very basic. It really does boil down to a bit of a slugfest between the two ships. Um, again right with the ballistics and both fighters jockeying for position um you know the fight was very much well yeah it's just a knockdown drag drag out right but it kind of goes to show uh the importance of excuse me um proper orientation right like if we look at his pattern here he's in a he's in a bit of a corkscrew um and i'm able to kind of a little bit of a positional advantage here uh, but again, right, running into that turn right problem as I slowly pull myself around to pitch. Now, if you notice on the left side, you see the vector indicator. You see how that's kind of dancing a little bit? But I'm constantly pushing it down and to the left so I can continue to orbit around him, right? Like, that's the choice. Like, that's the flight style choice I have done for this specific engagement, right? And you can see I'm constantly rolling to get myself on target, but I'm always trying to keep my vector pushing to the left of my screen, or at least relative to him, it's not flat against him. It's always moving around, right? So that's a lot of uh, precision with the double sticks. That's the flight component of it. Again, it's the pattern set that I've chosen. Now, Bray also knows this too. He's got his own pattern set here, and it was, again, just basically a knockdown drag out. Um, but, I kind of want to just talk about the ship real quick because the thing feels way different now than it did when I was testing it in the PTU. So before we get discussing the ship, I just want everyone to understand that um, we're, we always come from a point of how the ship is currently performing. It, it's not about what the ship is going to become. It's not about what the ship should do. It's not about what the ship... You know, if these mechanics were in place, then this would happen. Like, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in how the ship right this moment is performing like. And just simply talking about how it feels currently and um, basically how to, how to take advantage of it. Um, because if, if we get stuck in that rabbit hole of if this, then this, if this, then this, I mean, that's an infinite rabbit hole to go down and uh, it's just going to cause problems. So I just I just want to talk about how the ship is currently performing. And again, objectively, I, I'm not for or against any specific ship becoming better or worse. I just talk about what currently feels good about the ship. And what feels good about this thing right now is, oh boy, has it gone from being a lazy, lazy slug to being... Probably one of the more responsive heavy fighters I've flown to date so far. Um, it's super responsive. Now, it's not super tight on its nose in terms of like it's being super accurate, but I'm still able to move my nose and actually participate in dogfights in a relatively competent way. Now, I have seen 
the Ares Ion and the Inferno starting to kind of show up in Arena Commander a lot more. But usually they don't really do too well. And I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, with 700 meter per second guns, yeah, I mean, you're not really going to hit too much. Um, the Ares Ion, however, I have seen in Arena Commander do a lot better, a lot better than the Inferno. I mean, that's just simply because with the Ares Ion, and I joke, I shit you not, can quite literally shoot an uh, shoot a Gladius if it's got some shield damage or an arrow from full health and shoot and kill in one shot. Um, whereas the uh, Inferno can't do that. <laughs> um, I like the Inferno more than the Ion. However, um, I'd pick the Ion over the Inferno when it comes to dogfight. Just because that alpha weapon... You know, you get that, you get a little bit of distance on somebody and boom, just pull, squeeze the trigger and it's it's bad news bears for them, right? But it is a lot of fun though, flying the Ares now compared to how it was a few patches ago. Um, can she do the job it was designed to do? Yeah, I'd say that this thing does its job pretty well. I mean, there's not a lot of heavy ships out there that can stand against the Starfighter and, uh, and live to tell about it. Um, obviously it's very weak still against uh, light or medium fighters or basically any fighter which again makes sense um, not surprise no surprise there um, but I wonder though I wonder I wonder what's going to happen when the gunnery changes come in because we, we need some gunnery changes because the weapons we currently have and the velocities we have them at uh, are just so slow they're so slow uh size fives and all that stuff like velocity wise especially on something like the Ares starfighter um you know i wonder i wonder what will happen i mean it makes sense that they would be very slow in general because it is a size seven gun <laughs> it's not exactly a small gun so it, it always makes sense that they're going to have a much slower projectile speed than obviously the lights and medium fighters right but um i mean all in all i like it I mean, I like it. I really do like it. I used to, when I first tried this thing out, obviously there was some issues. Uh, and obviously what we have now in live is significantly different from what we had a few days ago uh, or last week. So I got to say, I'm very impressed. I like the way it looks. There's a lot of visibility as the pilot. I mean, the guns hit like an absolute truck. Mostly, to be honest, I'm actually quite surprised a size 7 gun doesn't do more damage. Sometimes I feel like how difficult, like how difficult it is to hit doesn't really do that much damage but i guess it all depends on how you how you you know how you uh bear like how you calculate that right i mean this thing would absolutely dominate a constellation and it's the only ship i have been able to effectively solo the redeemer but i most of the time it ends in catastrophe and I, I mean I guess it makes sense I know the Redeemer is a gunship and all that stuff right and I think people know how I feel about the Redeemer <laughs> lots of discussions about the Redeemer but I mean I still stand on the on the point I was making earlier I think the Redeemer is just so 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 good man it's so good. it's the killer it's the orca the killer whale of the ocean <laughs> but uh, Ares Inferno gets a gets a big big plus. I mean, I like it. I really like it. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to try it out, go try it out. Um, and then when it comes to fighting a ship, the same class, like it's going to be a slugfest no matter what you do. The number one thing you need to do in the Ares Ion or the Ares Starfighters is get close and punish and punch as hard and as fast as you can. Don't worry about evasive maneuvering. Don't worry about avoiding fire. Just get on somebody and just keep firing that gun until they blow up. I mean, that's really the most effective way you can you can utilize this thing, right? So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. This was today's daily video. The uh, Ares Ion and the Ares, uh, sorry, the Ares uh, Inferno gets a big thumbs up for me. Big fan of it so far. Uh, really excited to see where the ship goes from here. I think it's fitting its role very well. I think it feels great. It, it looks great. Hits great. You know, I just want some a little bit higher projectile speed, but maybe, maybe in terms of balance, that might not ever happen. Who knows? Take a uh, take a look, guys, at Predator Mounts if you're interested in some Predator Mounts. I hope to see all you folks out for stream. Come say hi, and I will see all of you in the next video. Until next time.